Well, hello everyone. Welcome. George here. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing okay this evening. It is April the 10th, 2024. Well, guess what? Got another reading here. Yes, we do. We have, and with the help my, of my good friend, Marilyn, we sat down, went over this page, Yes, it's going to be Seth Rogers. Yes, I've had uh, well quite a few requests in the comments and uh, that uh, I should think about doing one for Seth. And you know, you're right. Absolutely. And so, um, well, I'll tell you the story with Seth Rogers. You know, he's the biological dad to Sebastian Rogers, which has been missing since uh, February the 26th uh, of this year, 2024. And it's so sad. He's been out there. He's been, you know, grinding the, you know, the boots on the ground trying to find his son. And, man, what a tough situation. And I, he's in a bad place in his life right now. I really feel he, he is. And, before I get started here, folks, on this, I just want you to know I am not a psychic. I am not a medium. I don't. I, I just practice it, or I just study these cards and their readings as a hobby. But I do have a dear friend. Uh, her name is Marilyn, and she's 82 years old. She's a uh, psychic. She always has been since I think she said the age of like 13. She started learning them. So that's. Uh, she's got some experience on that. Um, she does palm reading. She's done all kind of stuff. So what she what she does, I will pre-record this. She takes a look at it, and she determines kind of each thing, especially when it comes to the cards. She she really knows her stuff about that. So so let's go ahead and get started, and uh, let's see what comes about. And I'm going to tell you folks. This is just some amazing stuff that comes up, okay? But this is some. This is not the gospel, okay? Take everything you're going to see here with a grain of salt. I always tell you that. Say that. So, here we go. All right. Hi, spirits. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, spirits. Okay. I need to see if there's a spirit here with me. Now you may have noticed something new in the center at the top that that is the REMF meter meter. It's a um, it's something I usually would take to me with some parties and stuff, you know. And uh, but boy, does it ever pick up a signal? You get close to it, it'll pick up energy and it lights up and makes a beeping noise. Sometimes it can get so bad, I just have to turn it off completely. But I thought I'd try it out on this one, and well, yeah, it did react. Spirits, I welcome you into this session. This is the session for Seth Rogers. And right now, if you're not aware of what I'm doing and how I do this, I'm bringing in the spirits. If there's a spirit in here, I want the good ones. I don't want no, any negative spirits, no bad spirits. So that's what we're doing. I will ring the bell, and that signifies to the spirits uh, that we don't want any bad negative spirits. So if there's a negative spirit, supposedly, uh, you know, I'm just saying what I've been taught that a bell sound, uh, a high pitch, will kind of get rid of them. I mean, they don't like that. So the, the negative spirits, for whatever reason. This is Sebastian's biological father. Sebastian Rogers is the young man who went missing in Hendersonville, Tennessee, on February the 26th of this year of 2024. If I have any spirits here, you can communicate with all these devices here. We have the cards, we have all the, we have the dice, but I do not, I do not want any negative spirits here, any bad spirits. If I have any bad spirits here, please go away. Now spirits, you can communicate with this device here. This is a electronical. You see how that lights up? I mean, you just barely go near the um, the antenna of it and it'll just fire off it'll just go 
crazy. And um, so the vice, if you get close to it, the energy, it'll start lighting up. And I did want to say something real quick. I've had people to ask me, to say, why don't you just ask the spirits where Sebastian is? And I asked Marilyn, my friend, I said, I said, I asked her, so can we do this? And she said, you can do that. You can ask the spirit uh, where someone is, if they're missing, or you can even find items, you know. Spirits can do that. But the only problem with that is that a lot of times from her teachings that spirits are like toddlers this is kind of what she says she said they're just like toddlers they're have they had to grow into their experience their you know recognition of being a spirit um so the spirit world is very difficult and it's it's a very uncharted way that we know of we still are you know it's been around for thousands of years uh, we've only been dealing in dealing into it for the you know early uh, what 1700s or something like that but yes she believes that they can find people there's been many of um psychics that have found uh and she actually marilyn actually has found a uh missing person back i think maybe 15 years ago i believe she said and um but boy yeah so it's not like something you can say, hey, spirits, tell us where it's at, because they had to have ways to communicate, for one thing. And then you had to have the experienced uh, spirits, if that makes sense, with you and how to bring them and draw them in. I'm doing this as a hobby. I'm not, I, you know, I'm not a real psychic. So, But I will see if we can work on that, trying to come up with something that would get us at least some kind of location. It'll send me a signal that you're here, if you're a strong presence here. All right. So, spirits, I need to know if you are here. And I want positive spirits. Positive spirits. Okay, spirits, I have the gender cards here. And the gender cards, just so you know, they are man woman and a neutral card so it kind of lets us know if there's a like a spirit that's a female maybe or was a female when they were on earth you know or maybe a male neutral can be both it can be either one or they just don't want to say please let me know if you can if you're a male a female or neutral do we have more than one spirit here or you just can't say. I'm going to roll this die, spirits. Give me a number between one and three. All right. Number two. From the left to the right, so it'd be the center one. All right, for this is Seth Rogers reading. Okay, folks, if you'll notice the, um, the box at the top, the RMF reader is starting to blink. Well, that's letting me know that there's some energy on this board. And we have a, it looks like we have a, some activity here. And when it starts beeping, it's a strong signal. Let's see what we have here. Oh. So this really, folks, this really just gave me cold cheer, chills again. This is the third time a male has come up on these readings. Um, I don't understand what's going on with this, but I believe, I know Chris is, uh, came up as the male, and I believe uh, um, Katie's came up as a male. So we have a male presence possibly with our se uh, the session here. Oh, wow. We have another male. Oh, my goodness, a male. All right. Thank you, spirits. Okay. Now, spirits, I need a fortune teller. Someone that can talk to us to give us a message. I'll reset you here. Wow. You see that? It started beeping. And yeah, so there's there's some energy on this board. And the fortune tellers, this is a wonderful thing. I love using the fortune tellers. And we'll get more into that here in just a moment. And we have our fortune tellers here. Spirits, if you can, help me with a fortune teller. 
help me with some information that may help us understand about Seth Rogers' situation. Uh, maybe he can get some answers from this. Give me a fortune teller here. One, two, three, or four. Three. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, spirits. All right. Let's see what we have here. Oh, <laughs> Annie Jones, fortune teller from Virginia. Yeah. Now, I got to tell you that um, that that story. I've got a video. I have a video of her and let me see if I can bring me see if I can bring her up so you can see what she looks like um, on the screen here a little better picture and the uh, thing about Annie Jones um, she she was uh, considered a bearded lady but she read cards she traveled to the circus but I do have a uh, I do have a story on her, so if you want to, uh, but she represents the hearts, and you can see there um, the hearts um, on the corner, and we'll be pulling a card for her in just she a rep moment. She represents the hearts. Wow. Very good story. We'll get back to her in, in just a few minutes. All right. Spirits, you're doing an amazing job. So this is for Seth Rogers, the biological... Uh, father to Sebastian Rogers. Now, spirits, I have here the spirit tarot cards. And as you know, there's many stories here. Many stories. And I would like for you to share one card with me. I'm going to pull out one card with the help of the dice. I do get a lot of questions about, you know, the cards. I only do one card and it tells a story. Uh, Marilyn said yes. So you can definitely get a story from one tarot card. Uh, no problem. Um, and you just tell me what uh, number to deal out to to get oh boy, that one do we, card. Do we get a card? And that one card hopefully will help us or help Seth uh, understand something about his situation. Seth Rogers, if you are watching this, please understand that I I do understand that you are a very religious fella, and that is great. You may or may not believe in any of this, and I understand that, but I do want to tell you that I am not a psychic. I am not a medium. This is just a pretty much a hobby, but I am going to get some help from my good friend Marilyn after this reading. She is a professional psychic. She's 82 years old and maybe she can give us some insights of what are we looking at here. So, okay, so here we go. Spirits, if you can give me one card. One card. <laughs> one <laughs> card it is then, okay. How about that? They're not messing around. All right, let's see if it's uh, if it's forward or reverse. Let's see what it is. Oh, <laughs> ooh, well, the fool, the fool card, folks, the fool card. Well, let's see what this card is telling us. Um, let me go to the screen. Make sure I get this right here. First of all, let's take a look at the card. Okay, so you have, you have dogs it looks like right where have we heard about dogs in this story about sebastian rogers um nipping looks like they're kind of nipping or trying to bite the foot of the fool chasing the fool and the fool just looks careless right just like well i'm hopping on my way so let's see what the this card says now marilyn did say that this was uh representing a very strong feeling of of um sebastian that she felt in her in her light that he was okay no matter where he was at he's okay so if he's still with us on this earth he's okay but if he's not for whatever reason not with us on this earth he's okay that's what marilyn said so now the fool so it was upright, so it wasn't reversed. So it says um, innocence, freedom, um, 
uh, originality, adventure travel, foolishness, carelessness, idealism, youth, uh, spontaneously, uh, lack of uh, commitment, and new beginnings. So I don't know. Um, well, again, Marilyn said this card represents pretty much a bastion. So whatever's happened to him, he started a, 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 a new beginning. And it says this card is for, and it can also mean to uh, self and his predicament. So the Fool is generally a positive card indicating a new beginning. If it appears in your reading, it could mean that you are on the verge of an exciting, unexpected new adventure. That's why she was thinking that this card may be a real positive card for Sebastian, which we need something positive here, right? Um, so, in your new adventure, we'll bring you along a path. Who, you know, and I got, I got cold chills when I saw that, a path, which may require you to make a leaf of fate, but you will grow as you res, uh, results of the new experience experience you will grow as uh, as the uh, yes of the new experience Ooh. the new adventure could be literally uh, uh, a new adventure like traveling to a place you've never been before that was uh, that's that's kind of scary before the change uh this card can bring usually be a welcome one while the fool is generally a positive card it appears in a reading can also indicate that you need to take the time to look before you leap. So that, you know, that last part right there, take the time uh, to look before you leap. I feel like that that might be that little part right there could be talking to self. And uh, the reason I say this is because the next card we come to, well, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's very interesting. This was a good card. Oh, the Fool card. That's a powerful card right there. I do know that. The Fool card. Hmm. That's an interesting one. We'll get back to this. Thank you, Spirits, for that. Wow. Yeah, the fool that, was, that was something. Okay. Now, Spirits. I need a... Uh, card here that our fortune teller Annie Jones is going to help us. Now, let me explain these cards. Some folks may not understand what this is about. These are ca called the cardamancy cards. They are poker cards, um, but you can tell stories from the poker cards. There are 52. There's no jokers in there, but you'll see let Annie, she represents the hearts. So we're going to pull a heart card. I'm going to flip through these card spirits and come to the first heart. And that heart card from the definition cards here, cardamancy cards, is going to project a some sort of a story into our situation here. Are you here? <laughs> the beaker's going off. Oh, Lord, the ghost beeping. The beaker. Oh, my. The beacon. The ghost beacon. Are you here, spirits? I have literally sat there, folks, and did this and just kind of practicing, you know, and just playing with the cards and looking through them and all. And all of a sudden, the whole thing just starts lighting up, beeping, going crazy, and it scares the hell out of me. You're listening, aren't you? You're listening. Okay. Yep. So we're going to flip through and get the first heart. Okay. First heart we come to will be Seth Rogers' card. Oh, wow. I didn't take long. Three of hearts. There it is. Wow. Look at there. There's the, the three of hearts. So let me show you what this card means. Folks, I'm telling you, I couldn't believe this card came up. So so we got it the, the, right here, the three of hearts, okay? Now this is called um, the Exploring Your Anger, Experiencing Cheating. Okay, the key words up here, which is wild. But let me give you a look at this. Now, I want you to take a look at this. And this this whole card is talking about you've got you got mysterious looking. You got you know just like maybe mad or 
you know, anger right there. You've got something that's like a person in the back that's like, hmm, what's going on here? And we've got locks and numbers, and we've got wings right here, folks. And broken hearts. And boy, we know we know what that could mean, a broken heart. So this is for it's um unstainable flying keys and locks, very sharp sharp items, worrying, surprises, sadness, birds of prey, uh cautionary vegetables. So that's the uh, yeah, flowers, thorns, and pyramids pyramids of the world. Now um, Marilyn said that this is talking about all three of our characters here, of our people, when it comes to ones that are involved with something going on with the, the missing, the disappearance of Sebastian, okay? That's exactly what this card is trying to say and why it came up, she feels like. So, and down here you will see it says, um, Egypt which is the country, and then the state is Colorado. Not sure what Colorado or Egypt would mean, but it's on there. That's what the meaning of this card is. So, okay, so here we go. The clutch, the three, the three is a difficult number when it comes to matters of the heart. It beckons a choice or a decision. Uh, this is the Crooked Deal of the Heart card. Oh my gosh, when I read that. It can mean crooked deals with friends, family, or businesses. It can also mean cheating like a three-way love affair. Wow. It means caution. It's, a, it's about not saying something that you may regret later. Self, I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but heed that, okay? Be wary of the words and the bad thoughts of others. Folks, boy, this 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 card hit home on this one. It really did. So Annie Jones is our um, our fortune teller. And she says, my name is Annie Jones. This message uh, from this card is, virtually nothing is impossible in the world if you just put your mind to it and maintain a positive attitude. Okay, virtually nothing is impossible in the world if you put your mind to it and maintain a positive attitude. This message is possibly from what was, what is, or what could be. Thanks for listening to my message today. Please be aware of your upcoming travels. Be safe and good evening. Folks, I tell you this, boy, this, this card, oh, wow, 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 wow. So... I don't know. That's this is this was very interesting that this this came up. I Look mean, it's just that, very folks. interesting. The three of hearts. Okay. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. We've got some activity here. Now, spirits, it is now time for the ghost box. The ghost box. Make sure we are still recording. Yes, we are. All right. Spirits. Again. I don't want any negative spirits here. Please go away if you're negative. We have our ghost blocks here. Yeah, definitely. Spirits, no, no how negative. many ghost blocks? So the ghost blocks, folks, for you, the, the ones that's just joined in, the ghost blocks are amazing. There's 10 dice in this bag. Each one of the dice have an image on it, a picture or numbers. And so you'll so see. You want here. me to pull, pull out the bag to get, tell a story that may help us understand or help self understand about the situation of missing Seth Rogers, his son. How many ghost blots? How many? Three. Okay. All right. Ooh. The house. That's one. Two. Uh oh. The phone. And finally, number three. Ooh. Communications here. Ooh. We have got communications. Let oh. me show you folks what we've got here. 
Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this is hold the on house. just a minute. Right, the, uh, the house. Let me get to this and bring this up. Um, I'm trying to get all this switched around. Sorry. I'm having a pause and all. So, okay, I think I've got this right. So let's go to this. This is um, not the light bulb, but there we go. The house. Okay. So look what it says with the house is. Home stri Isn't this crazy, folks? We keep getting something about a house. If you saw the other videos, go back, watch them. The, the house card comes up, okay? Home structure, safe security. We've, we've been talking about the security, haunted construction. We hear about construction. I, um, I mean, isn't Chris? He's in construction, right? He does... Um, he does like, uh, I mean, all three of these things. He does crane work. Self Rogers is in security. I mean, he works as a, a deputy sheriff, right? Uh, and then we have the home, which is Katie. I mean, she's on that, but she's also a security, uh, like a, her job was like insulation for ADT or something like that. But we got walls, windows, comfort, and gates. Have no idea what that means but boy oh boy that's a that's crazy that's crazy okay so let's go back in the phone let give me a moment and see um, i'm trying to learn i'm trying to look for all these things on here and um i want to get to these here so let's go you'll hear my mouse here's the phone boy okay so the phone is the next one right yep let me hold on let's see let's block okay. oh wow and we had two cards come up in the past yep, about it this. Is. This is the phone. Okay, so the phone, let's go to this. And hopefully I can get this on there. You'll see the lightning actually came up the last time on that one, on the other reading. Okay, communication, text, social media, talking, listening, tracking. Whoops, i got to get this over here. There you go. Um... And I've had people to ask me, too, what does the G, like, you know, you'll see on some of these that'll have G and F and all that. Well, what that is, each one of these blocks has a different letter. And if, if there's three or four, you know, um, I don't know, blocks that are rolled, you can put, maybe the G means something. But I don't normally bring that up because I don't know, that's a far-fetched thing but we don't know maybe maybe you all know what g would stand for but here we go we got tracking so what is that saying we got some tracking going on when i see this and it comes up folks it's telling me that somebody's being watched and i mean very very tightly so that's what this is telling me and then let's go to the next one it's going to be the this is communication letter and this is another form of communication. It's the letter. So let me see if I can find the letter. I, I'm terrible at this. I'm, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, let's go to here. There we go. Not the castle. Oh, there we go. The letter. Let's see if I can get it in there. So, um, boy, isn't this something? The stuff that comes up on this. Okay, messages, letters, communication, secret talk. Oh, yes, yeah, secret talk. Junk, documents, loss, good or bad news. Folks, what do you think that means? What what kind of bad news are we talking about? Are we talking about good news too? We got secret talk. Let me tell you, I can tell you right now, the secret talk, I, I would almost say that that would be the authorities. Okay? Um, of course, this also means, you know, um, all us YouTubers, you know, talking and communicating with all this. So that's what I'm thinking. This this came up for a reason. It it's letting self know that the spirits know that there's the communications coming up. Okay, that is possibly what this is saying. So, oh wow, a letter, something important in the mail. We'll get to the meaning of this here in just uh, just a little bit. And finally, spirits. We have, we have the message bag. 
<laughs> okay, folks, the message bag. I've had so many comments about the message bag. They have, folks have never seen anything like this and no reading like this ever. And, you know, and that's why I love this, because the fact that you're able to get so much information for so many different items. And so the messages in this bag, there's over a thousand and something messages. I, I'm going to say almost 1,500 messages, okay? Little pieces of paper, and each one of them has a message on it. So this is how this goes. There's over goes. a thousand and something messages in here. Spirits, if you could, please... Help me with some messages. Somebody asked me too, why do you not, why do you have a like electronical candle? Well, this is it because my ass would be burned up and this, everything would be on this table burned up with this bag, just this bag alone. So that's why I do not use any kind of natural flames when I'm using this. To give to self, to tell his story, to help communicate. To... I think we still get the same message, I believe. So. If there's any spirits that can communicate, that would like to communicate right now, help me with these messages. I'm going to roll the dice. How many messages to bring out of this bag? Oh, wow, six. six. <laughs> They're and wanting you, to communicate. And you them. notice the ghost beacon is lighting up. Okay. All right, so let me get this over here. That's one. Whoop. Now, they're communicating. It, they're yeah. communicating. It is. Okay. Ooh, it's two. Right? Yep. Just kind of listen. Help me out, spirits. Help me out. It's three. Oh, my. It's four. You just never know what you're going to get out of these two. It's, it's the last two videos uh, I did was just crazy, crazy. Six. There we go. There it is. Okay. Inside of one. Yeah, these two, three, these freaked me out, folks. Four, I'm telling you. Five and six. Very good. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Let me uh, let me grab my glasses real quick because I can't see. Yeah, I should have had them I, already. You know, I'm gonna forget something. Let's see. Got to have them glasses on this. Our first message. About Seth Rogers. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! <laughs> oh. oh goodness! The spirits. Okay, it says the first one. I cannot stop what's going to happen. When I saw this, folks, I have no idea. The only thing Marilyn says that somebody's getting ready to get arrested. <laughs> she said somebody and this is her word she said some some bitch is getting ready to get arrested she saw this and said yes and i i'm like okay that's that's that could be it could be but is this the spirit saying we can't we can't help what's going to happen so hmm, interesting oh, wow i cannot stop what's <laughs> going to happen and the the ghost beacon was just going crazy here okay that was that was interesting that came Ooh. up. <laughs> Is this going along with the first one? Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Oh. oh Yep. Look at this. Oh my god. A storm. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. Folks, what the hell do you think? I mean, a storm we must be getting ready to get some news. I'm hoping we get some good news. I'm hoping that we're gonna get some news that Sebastian is found alive and well. But a storm is coming for some people, okay? And that's what Marilyn said. Yes, some some. She says some some bitches is going to get arrested. I said the hell. soon. A storm is coming soon. Oh my gosh! Okay. All right. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! 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 Mm. She is definitely guilty, folks. Let me tell you. Marilyn, my 82-year-old friend, looked at this and she said, now this is her words. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. This is speculation. The whole thing about this is speculation. But folks, come on. This comes up. What, is, what does this say? Marilyn says, mm -hmm. who is the female in this whole story? What do you think? And I'm like, <laughs> 
Okay. Yep. I know what this is saying, but boy, this is crazy. Crazy. She is definitely guilty. It's funny when Marilyn, you see that? When you, if you heard Marilyn, and she will not be recorded. She don't want to have nothing to do with that. But it's funny when you hear her talk. It's <laughs> like, my okay. gosh. Mm. Number four. Remember working on cars. See, I don't know. I, I don't know what this would have meant. Um, somebody, if you are out there, if there are any psychics, out, professional psychics watching this, please tell me what you think. People, if you're not a psychic, let me know if you know more about the case. Because um, I keep up with it as much as I can. But let me know. Do you know anything what the cars mean? Remember working on self. I'm. I know if you're watching this, you know, God bless your soul. Does this mean, did you ever work on the car with with Sebastian? I'm just wondering if that's what that means. Remember, we're working on cars. Seth, does that mean anything? Or anyone that knows Seth, does yep. that mean anything? Work and also, Marilyn seems to think this is, um, she says that this has got something to do with, with him traveling, his laugh his last journey in a car so that's that's crazy too Can right remember working on cars oh wow mm. Mm. this is the fifth one yeah wow oh, wow. oh my gosh oh my my child is trying to talk to you you must stop and listen folks I'm telling you, cold chills went all over me when I saw this. My child is trying to talk to you. You must stop and listen. I don't, I, there's so many things from this message that just came across. And Marilyn said, that is Sebastian talking, saying, you must listen. You must listen and find me. That's what she's saying. You must find me. And I said, you know, absolutely. Absolutely, you need to listen to every, every, and I've got to tell you, you've got to these, go back and watch these other uh, videos that I did, like for Sebastian and Katie and Chris Proudfoot. This the messages that comes up is just crazy. It's mind blowing. It really is. So, but oh wow, yeah. And my the, child is trying to talk to you. You must stop and listen. The beacon was just going crazy on that. It wouldn't stop. Okay. wouldn't shut up. It was like crazy. And the final one. Look at that. I've, it's oh, just, gosh. I've been wounded. I saw this, and I'm like, oh, bless our hearts. Bless this child's heart. Please tell me that this child is okay. I'm just saying, folks, you know, whether whatever you believe in the afterlife, if you do, if you don't, got to know that this is a powerful message for one thing even if he is not wounded he is wounded because he's not in his home he's not in his environment he's not with his dad he's not with his mom he is somewhere gone and this message pops up and i'm like i'm cold chills everywhere i just and Marilyn says, yes, this is exactly what this is. This child is talking to all of us and saying we, he's been wounded. He needs to be found. Stop pissing around is what she says. Stop pissing around and get busy. Find this child where whatever it takes. So, yeah. I've been wounded. I hear you talking. I hear you talking. I've been wounded. Wow. That is oh, wow. so strange, strange. It comes up. Okay. All right. Spirits, thank you so much for that reading. That was an exceptional reading. Folks, we'll get back to all this here in just a moment. We'll go over it. I'm going to let uh, my good friend Marilyn, the psychic, she's 82 years old. I'm going to let her go yep, over this, what she, she thinks, and let us know. Um, Thank you, folks, but thank you, spirits. Now, spirits, you are now allowed to leave this session. Please leave the session of Seth Rogers. Please, I don't need any 
assistance anymore. I will call upon so you this, very soon. So this is where I'm cases of of getting rid of the spirit. Well, I need releasing but the spirits. Time, I need for you to and, leave uh, this session. All spirits. And if I've had any negative spirits here, please go away and do not come back. All the positive, beautiful spirits, thank you so much. Thank you. You are welcome to leave now, and I will ask for your assistance. I will do a smudging when we're finished. Yep, I did. Thank you, spirits. Wow. Well, folks, there it is. That is um, Seth Rogers' uh, reading on the board. We have the uh, tarot card, The Fool. We have the Three of Hearts, The Clutch card, and Annie Jones, beautiful story of Annie Jones. So, well, folks, what do you think? Do you think, uh, do you feel like that um, uh, Sebastian is still alive with us? Or has he passed on to the other life? I feel like, I still feel like he is alive. I mean, but I'm just one person. I um, I just don't know. And I'm, I'm hoping and praying that he is still alive. And just remember, folks, you know, all this, um, the card reading and all of this, you know, you have to take it with a grain of salt. It, 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 it's not the gospel of what's happening. But, you know, you have to put in your mind sometime when you're watching this and say, you know what, my goodness, some of this stuff that's coming up on this board, on this reading, it is reflecting somehow to the story. It's trying to tell somebody something. So, and I think the most important thing that I got out of this reading is we need to find this boy. We need to find Sebastian Rogers. The authorities need to kick ass and get in gear and get this solved. And let's find this boy. Let's find and have a good ending. At least find him so that Seth Rogers can have some kind of understanding and closure or whatever needs to happen here so you know and why the parents of you know like katie and chris proudfoot why they're not out looking people are so pissed at that it's making you look guilty folks whether you are or not you're you're looking guilty so just understand that you know if something's if you know where sebastian is just just tell, tell, tell somebody, okay? If you know, I'm not saying you know, I'm not saying that you're guilty of anything. I'm just saying if you do, if you do, or if you know somebody that knows where he's at, tell the authorities, hey, go look here. So, well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this. Now, if you have not um, hit subscribe, please do so, because this will let you know that I'm going to be bringing out another video, and I've got a, another one that I'm working on, uh, and it's about another missing, uh, well, it's two ladies, I'm just going to say that. I am so curious to see what's going to happen with that reading, but this reading here, self, if you're watching this for whatever reason, and I'm, I'd say you probably not, but if you are, just understand that I did not, I'm doing this out of the most respect that I can, and I just want you to understand that everybody feels for you, okay? Everybody feels the hurt for you. You will, nobody will never understand that's not been through this, what it is to not be able to know where your child is. But, you know, God bless your heart. I hope you have some good resolution. Hope some good news comes out soon because. If these readings have anything to do with the spiritual world, maybe the spirits know something that we don't. Maybe they're trying to tell us, you know, that, hey, a resolution is coming soon. So, well, folks, I want to thank you. If you like this video, hit the like button. It'll send this out so people will get an idea of the, uh, you know, of Sebastian Rogers. And hopefully we can get some resolution soon. And folks, I want you to, right now, please go hug a loved one or someone you know. Tell them you love them, because you just never know, folks. You just never know. Well, folks, this is George, and I hope all of you will be safe. And until next time, thank you for watching, and you all be safe. We'll see you down the road.
Bye-bye.